Hey everyone, it's Amanda. Um, I am going to be doing a tag of some questions today. It's, I'm going to pull it up, it's right over here, so I'll look over here. Um, it's 17 random questions. Um, so, here we go. All right. How did you get your YouTube username? Um, Hop Amanda. Well, I got it because, um, well, Hoppa, I have always been called a Hoppa. Um, I used to go to Hawaii a lot, all the time, and Hoppa over there means half, half white. Um, and since I'm half white, half Japanese, I don't know, that term I always got called. So. I thought I was really funny and said, um, Hop Amanda, since my name's Amanda. I'm really funny, right? That's totally hilarious. So that's where that came from. Number two, if you could change your name to anything, what would it be and why? Hmm. You know, now that I'm grown, I don't think I would change it. Um, Luckily, I have, you know, I, I get a nickname. My name's Amanda, but I went by Mandy. Um, and my mom insisted on that because she loves Barry, she loved the Barry Manilow song, Oh Mandy. Yeah, I know. But growing up, um, I really didn't like Amanda. Um, and then I grew to not like Mandy. Now I'm totally cool with both of them. My family and my friends call me Mandy. Um, people who don't know me call me Amanda. So I go either way, but it's Mandy with an I, not a Y. All right. And then number three, if you could go back in time and give your younger self advice, what would it be and why? Wow. That's a loaded question because, oh my gosh, there's so many things I would go back and tell my younger self. Uh, Number one would probably be don't focus so much on boys um, and those relationships that you just think, oh my God, I love him. What's my life going to be without him? Um, you're most likely not going to be with that guy, so um, don't waste your time and don't take it so personal. There's a man out for you long, far, far, far away, so don't bother with it. I harped so much on guys and just, you know, wanting to find my soulmate. And I was like 15 or 16 and, oh, geez, yeah, I would tell her that amongst other things to stay away from. But I would tell her that first. Um, how old were you when you first learned how to blow a bubble? Bubble gum? I have no idea. That's a weird question. I don't know. I don't really chew gum, so. Uh, what did you want to be when you were little? Uh, the first thing I wanted to be was a neonatal nurse, taking care of the little tiny babies in the NICU. Obviously, I'm, I didn't do that. <laughs> but uh, that's what I wanted to be. What do you order at Starbucks? It does vary by season because in the fall, I love me some um, pumpkin soy latte. Uh, when that's out of season, sorry, there's a garbage truck going by. Um, when it's out of season, like right now, I usually do a cinnamon dolce latte with soy. I love soy. But sometimes, you know, if I'm feeling like I, I'm doing it too much, I'll do the skinny skinny one, so skinny cinnamon dolce latte. Um, and I'll usually do a small one with an extra shot, or a tall, sorry, with an extra shot. Um, because I don't like to drink that much, and I usually don't have time to drink a whole thing of coffee. I'm, I'm lucky if I can get a few sips in, so with the kids. Um, and I'm lucky if I can even go to Starbucks. But there is a drive through Starbucks, like, right down the street from me. So I really need to be hitting that up a little bit more. Okay, what's the hardest you ever laughed? Well, I 
it's been a while, but me and my cousin and my sister and my other cousin, I don't know why, but my cousins can make me laugh like no other. We have the most random, idiotic inside jokes that seriously, I cry because I laugh so hard. And I got to live with one of my cousins for like a year and man, it was a great time. Um, love my cousins, Natty and Camille. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you guys. Always make me laugh. They're just hilarious and I wish they lived closer. Um, let's see. If you could play any musical instrument, which would it be and why? I would play the guitar. Totally, I would play the guitar. It would be like Taylor Swift or something, or like Jewel, and just play the guitar. I wrote a lot of poems and stuff growing up. My parents should have given me a guitar, and I could have been, I could have been Taylor Swift, the Asian Taylor Swift. I'm telling you, I could have. That, I am totally going to get my daughters a guitar and make them learn it because I think it's a great expression um, of your feelings and uh, it's just beautiful music. I love it. What's your favorite thing to do when you are upset? Shop. I shop. I love retail therapy. Best thing. Easy. What's your favorite movie? Um, gosh, we watch so many movies and half the time I don't even know what they're called so I can't really say <laughs> what my favorite one was. Um, I know like my all-time kind of favorites are like Knocked Up, Funny Comedies, and um, what's that other one, Baby Mama with Tina Fey. Love it. Love those ones. Uh, what's one food you cannot live without? Hmm. I would say cheese. Total cheese freak. Love cheese. Um, any kind of cheese, really. Yeah. I'll even do that, like, putrid, moldy-looking cheese. Mm-hmm. Do that with a glass of wine. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, what's your favorite dessert? My favorite dessert is drumsticks not chicken but the ice cream drumsticks and with the nuts on the top and the little chocolate filling in the middle vanilla with the little chocolate thing that goes all the way down to the bottom all the way down to the cone mm-hmm those are yummy favorite pizza topping pepperoni I like pepperoni I love mushrooms and olives but my husband hates that so I never get it so we always end up with pepperoni but it's actually more than about the topping. It's about the crust. And what? Who has the stuffed crust with the cheese in the crust? Um, hello, heaven. Yes. I'll take five. Okay. Would you rather have the superpower to read minds or the superpower to be invisible? Well, who says that I don't? On to the next question. What did you do for your last birthday? Um, you'd think I would remember since it was like two months ago. Oh, three months ago. Probably nothing. When you get older, you don't even like remember your birthdays here. You're like, oh, damn, my birthday was yesterday. Yeah, it's not as big of a deal when you're older and old like me. So, nothing special. I like to just spend time with my family, so... Actually, I might have gone out with some friends. Yeah. Actually, maybe I did do something. If you had one personal selfish wish, what would it be and why? Now, selfish wish. That just means something that I want for me. Um, like something that really could happen. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to be taller. Yep, the five foot, five one cusp is just never cut for me. But I work with it. At least I, I can fit into clothes and there's hemming and all that sorts of stuff. So um, I don't know if that's a selfish wish. I guess it is. Okay, number 17. Wow, we're already at number 17. What does 
O M G H H K P mean to you? It means nothing to me. You might as well write the word if you're going to write all those. O M G H H K P. I'm going to look it up right now while I'm on the computer. Let's see. Because O M G H. Okay. It means. Can you still see me? I'm not even on the screen for. <laughs> it means, oh my god, hooray, happy, kind people. That was really worth being a question in here. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's it. Cool. Those are my 17 questions, you guys. And I tag all of you. How about that? Put it in the comments below. Do a video of your 17 questions. How about that? I think that would be fun. All right, guys. Thanks. It was fun. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.